Okay. Okay. On your air conditioner, so when you pull your panel off to access your wiring, there's going to be a wiring diagram usually on the back side of this. Now to read this wiring diagram, what you want to look for is the compressor. And here there's three wires that come off the compressor. It's your R, S, and C. And these are the three main wires we focus on, okay? So once you identify those wires, what you're gonna do is we like to start with the S wire, which is to, goes to your Herm on your capacitor, okay? So if you come over here, here's a cool trick, is on your capacitor, the Herm terminal, the Herm always has three, three um, connectors. What do you call these? Terminals, there we go. <laughs> so the Herm has three terminals on it, so that's one way to identify it, okay? Your fan has two on it and your common has four. So we know that this brown wire right here is the S wire from the compressor that lands on the Herm terminal, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your orange easy start wire, okay? So you have four wires that come off your easy start. Your orange, your white, brown, and black. So we're gonna take the orange one and we're gonna plug it right on the Herm terminal next to the brown wire, okay? Now, once we've done that, now we go back to our wiring diagram and we're gonna go to the R wire, okay? And this is a red wire on our air conditioner. It could be different color on yours, but it's red on ours. So this red wire, it, if you follow it, it goes down to the contactor, T1 on the, T, um, I apologize, T2 on the contactor. So, our air conditioner is a little bit different because we use this as a test model. It's already got one of our Wago connectors on here. But traditionally, your R wire is together. And what you're gonna do is cut that wire in half, okay? Now you have two separate wires here. The one red wire that goes back to your compressor, that's gonna get connected to the brown wire on the easy start, okay? And it has this cool way going here. So what you do is you just flip up the tab all the way up, that opens it up, and then you just stick your wire in all the way back and one way you can tell is you can see the wire pushed in in the back there okay so the the one wire that you cut that goes back to the compressor it goes to the brown wire on the easy start now the other end of the r wire that you cut that goes to the contactor okay this goes to the white wire on the easy start so same concept you flip the tab up you stick it in and you shut it down do a little tug, make sure it's good. So there you go, those two wires are connected. Now, out of the four wires, you have one left, which is your black wire. So you go back to the compressor and you follow the last third wire, which is usually a black wire from the compressor. And that will come and usually land on your T1 terminal on your contactor. And a lot of times, the reason why we put the spade connector on here is because there's an empty terminal on your contactor, which I can see back here. So you just take the black wire, Plug it onto there, and now you're set. You're all wired up, that simple.